How's it going, you guys? AZ Pio 21 back again with another video here in our UFC save in WMMA5. And here today, we have for you UFC on ESPN Volkanovski versus Ortega. Last time I saw you guys would have been for UFC on ABC Jan versus Faber 2, in which Uriah Faber shocked the world and retired on top, beating Peter Jan to become the Bantamweight champion, promptly retiring. And now we have for you UFC on ESPN, Volkanovski versus Ortega. And uh, this main event is for the interim UFC featherweight championship, right? Interim? Yes. Uh, the reason for this is um, Max Holloway uh, beat Andre Feely in his last title fight and then said he's going on hiatus. So he's not going to be with us for a time that we actually don't know, like how long he's going to be gone. So title fight. Why not? Get, uh, get the people a little bit more excited here in Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah, Oklahoma. Home of Jim Ross. Everything's taken care of. All the broadcasters are set. Everything's good. Let's go ahead and get right to the action. Title fight live from Oklahoma. Uh, I, just, I just saw something pretty exciting. Look at these two guys' hair. I love it. Uh, Violent Bra Bros, Luis Pena taking on Alex Bruce Leroy Caceres. In our first prelim of the afternoon and violent bob ross gets the victory now six and two in the ufc very very impressive sean strickland taking on ramazan emiev in the welterweight division strickland 23 and 1 emiev 19 and 5 and strickland gets the win via submission north south choke uh no contents to brian barbarena but he gets a much weeded much needed uh, win now. Bob Ross is a killer. Yeah, he uh, lost his last fight, though. I can't remember who it was against, but he lost. Adam Yandiev taking on Oscar Hiero Sosa in the light heavyweight division. Yandiev 10-1, and one, Sosa 13-3, and three, and Yandiev comes out on top. TKO in round number one. Two straight wins now for the Russian out of Moscow. Alan Brahma Joban taking on Kamal Magomedov. Magomedov, I believe, making his UFC debut. Eight and one, taking on Joban, who is 16 and eight. Joban getting the winner, getting the win in round number two. Now eight and six in the UFC, and he needed this win. He was coming off two straight losses. So good for him. Getting a much needed win there. And he's gonna go partying. Good old JR is guest commentator. By God! Oh by God, that's Alan Joban! And uh, by God, that's Jalen Turner taking on Demir Ismagalov in the lightweight division. 10 and 5 is Turner. Ismagalov is 20 and 2. And Jalen Turner, underdog, getting the win via submission in the first round. He's now 4 and 1 in the UFC in a three fight winning streak to his name as well. Good for him. He says he would like to fight Atman Azaitar in his next fight. And Lerone Murphy now taking on Yusef Zalal. This would be a really good fight between two really good prospects in real life, which means it's probably not going to happen. It's bad putting up prospects against each other. Uh, Yusef Zalal, 1-0 in the, in the UFC, 2-0 really. Um, last getting a win over Eduardo Garagori. Lerone Murphy, 9-0-1. He takes on, or he beat Jamal Emers in his last fight. Your winner via TKO in round number one. And handing him his first loss is Yusef Zalal. Now 10-2. and two, And he says he wants to fight Robin Van Roos Malin. Kickboxing legend. Wow, okay. Up next, Jonathan Martinez taking on Javid Basharat in the Bantamweight division. And Martinez gets a win via knockout in round number three. He's now 13-3. and three. Last getting a win over Francisco Rivera. Getting a good win over Basharat here today. Up next in the flyweight division, Hayato Suzuki, a man who looks 50 but is 34, taking on Brett Low Ninja Caswell, also 34. Caswell has just a loss to his name, Suzuki, making his UFC debut here today after being in one championship. And your winner is Hayato Suzuki via unanimous decision. Love to see it. Japanese star coming in and making his... Uh, Name known here in the UFC. All right. Now, two undefeated fighters. Miguel Baeza, who I think just 
Who did he just beat up? Was it Matt Brown? Yeah, he just destroyed Matt Brown. Taking on Andrew Sniper Todd Hunter in the welterweight division. 1-0 in the UFC is Todd Hunter. Baeza, 3-0 in the UFC. Aldana, Kandoshko, Ayari, and then in real life, destroyed Matt Brown. And Miguel Caramel Thunder, weird name, Baeza, wins via unanimous decision. I'd be surprised if he isn't ranked. He should be ranked. That's four straight wins, right? <coughs> I guess he just needs a uh, better quality opponents. I don't know. Either way, good showing bum the young man. Davey Grant now taking on Tim Elliott in the Bantamweight division. Tim Elliott getting the win. Did you end up getting Bader back to the UFC? Uh, no, not yet. He is on the short list, though, and I do want him. Tim Elliott getting the win. Now 6-8 in the UFC. And uh, two straight wins for him now in the Bantamweight division, so good for him. Up next, our first main card fight. By God, that's Super Sage Northcutt. Look at his hair. Taking on Lyman Good. Uh, Lyman Good on a three-fight winning streak. Rencontra, Sabata, Dwight Grant. He takes on Super Sage Northcutt, 12-4. and four. Uh, Lost to Alexandra. Lost to Gary Tonin. And then beat Koyomi Matsushima in one championship. Coming back, not the best expectations, you know, but he, I think he's still pretty popular, right? Low level national, so yeah, he's still fairly popular. And um, Tim Elliott saving his job again, yeah. Um, still fairly popular, so he still has um, something to offer here in the UFC. Taking on a veteran in Lyman Good, who is on a little bit of a run, so this is not easy, but. Super Sage Northcutt gets the win via knockout in round number one. Good for the young 25-year-old. Happy with the finish. Up next, in the Bantamweight division, Rob Font taking on John Dodson between a, uh, a fight between two top 15 contenders in the division. Dodson went over Garbrandt. Good. Lost to Faber. That's fine. He's the champion, technically now. And Ray Borg, who's top five. So not bad losses for him. Taking on Rob Font. Number 14 in the division. Uh, went over Marlon Vera and then lost to Montel Jackson, which is not that bad considering Montel Jackson looks pretty good. He's just not ranked highly for whatever reason. Um, Dotson heavily favored and with good reason. Knockout win in round number three for John Dotson, who had a very poor showing the other night against uh, Davalish Vili. And uh, John Dotson is happy. Congratulations. All right. The young punisher, Pedro Munoz. Taking on Frankie the Answer Edgar, also in the Bantamweight division. Frankie Edgar fighting literally tomorrow in the Bantamweight division. He is, uh, yikes. It's been a tough run here for uh, Frankie Edgar. That's uh, one, two, three, four, five straight losses. But look at the people he's had to face. Max Holloway, Korean Zombie, Uriah Faber, Ricky, <coughs> excuse me, Ricky Simone, and Yadong Song. All of which... <coughs> are killers especially those last three you know the young punisher 34 yeah i should change his nickname to just the punisher pedro munoz has not had a good time as in, in his own right lost to sterling he lost to yawn lost to montel jackson lost to jose aldo so this is definitely a much needed win for either of these guys and frankie edgar gets it via split decision Ryan Hall taking on Josh Emmett. Ryan Hall, heavily favored. Ryan Hall is supposed to fight, was it this weekend? I forget, but he had to pull out of his bout due to injury. Very unfortunate. Josh Emmett, number 20 in the division, losing to Ricardo Ramos and Kevin Aguilar. Ryan Hall on the other end. All wins. Duho Choi, Chad Skelly, Tukigov, Gilbert Melendez. Still not ranked. Ryan Hall beats Joss Emmett uh, via submission. Let's see if he's ranked now. Curtis Millinder taking on Rafael Dos Anjos in our co-main event. Dos Anjos, number 21 in the welterweight division, coming off a win over Damian Maya and then a loss to Ben Askren. Curtis Millinder, I believe. No, this is not his first fight back. Beat Eric Silva in Bellator. Came right in, beat Kunchenko. He's ranked number 19. Co-main event, I like Curtis Millinder. 
the game does not. He loses to Rafael Dos Anjos via TKO. Good win for the former champion. And in our main event of the evening for the interim, UFC featherweight championship of the world, Alexander the Great Volkanovsky takes on Brian T. City Ortega now. Both of these guys have obviously fought for titles previously, both against Max Holloway. Both have lost to Max Holloway. So let's see what exactly happens here today when the interim title is on the line. Dan Mergliata is your referee. And here we go. Immediate takedown attempt. Ortega pulls guard, but he's good with the jujitsu. El elbow strike, El go. Uh oh. Ortega. Ortega cannot secure the arm. Going for a submission from the bottom. Notice that. He's not, not terrible on the ground, so. Volkanovski tried to wrestle, and Ortega's like, hey, takedown attempt. Again, he gets it. Gets side control. Volkanovski pounding away with strikes. Final minute of round number one. Volkanovski looks to be in control of this round. T City. Uh, apparently was not a very exciting round. We'll have to see what happens. Into a clinch. Ortega works his way to a dominant position. And he can't get a trip. Underhooks. Volkanovski looks for a takedown and he gets it. Side control now for Volkanovski. Trying to scramble for position. Uh-oh. Several shots rock Ortega. Nasty looking punches. And Volkanovski can't take advantage. Ortega with a sweep. Get side control. A Kimura attempt from Ortega. And he taps. Wow. After getting dominated for the first nine minutes of the fight, ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest. At three minutes, 34 seconds of round number two, declaring your winner by submission due to Kimura lock and new interim UFC featherweight champion of the world, Brian T-City Ortega. Someone's got a date with uh, Max Holloway again. Whenever he comes back. Only 3,000 in attendance, practically, for a title fight. No popularity changes. Let's see. Fight of the night. Uh, great, great. We'll give it to the Ryan Hall fight. Why not? Performance bonus. Yusuf Zalal. And Sage Northcutt. Congrats. Small profit. It's still a profit. We'll take it. Of course, we're going to look at our rankings, look at our emails, and then we will go ahead and sign off. Max Holloway is Brian Sleep Paralysis Demon. I mean, yeah. Did you see how many times Brian Ortega got punched in the face by Max Holloway during their title fight? It is gruesome. Not a pretty sight. Literally, during the fight, Max Holloway puts up Ortega's hands and, like, puts it to his head to show him how to, you know, defend, essentially. Crazy. Uh, interim champions. You gotta love it. Yep, exactly, RBM. All it takes is one second. Volkanovski was dominating. You know, he had the clinch control. He was doing good with the wrestling. Had him inside control. Rocked him, even, in the second round. A sweep is all it took. Kimura lock. Boom. Done. That's uh, how scary jujitsu is. And I can't wait until I can start training. Um, the current gym that I'm training at, it's called uh, Baker's MMA. It's actually not even done being built. But, like, when it's done being built, they're going to start doing, like, full jujitsu classes, full wrestling classes, things like that. It's going to be awesome. So I'm excited, and it's not an hour drive to go to the MMA lab anymore, so that's going to be pretty cool. Like, it'd be cool to train, you know, with the guys like Henderson and O'Malley and stuff like that, but it's an hour drive, and it's like, I'm not really going to fight, you know? I'm in it for mainly the fitness part of it, and just because it's something that I think would be pretty cool to do. So, yeah. 10-minute drive versus an hour. Come on. Let's go ahead and update our rankings now. No update at heavyweight, light heavyweight. Uh, Sam Alvey is now in the rankings despite him losing to Thomas Narcoon. Interesting. Uh, middleweight, no movements. Welterweight, Dos Anjos moves up to 17. And it looks like Millinder's out. Eddie Alvarez comes in at number 19. Love it. 
lightweight, no movement. At featherweight, Ortega is now up there at number two because he is the interim champion. And then that Pitbull versus uh, Zabit fight, that's going to determine uh, the next contender for the uh, interim championship essentially now. And then Ryan Hall. Finally, Ryan Hall is ranked number 20. Look at my boy. 36 years old. He's only got a couple more fights left in him, more than likely, because he's getting up there in age. Volkanovski moves all the way down to number 15. Yikes. Ugh, that's tough. Bantamweight, Dodson moves up to 10. Munoz moves all the way down to 19. Fonts moves down to 21. Um, no movement as far as the women go, and that looks to be about it for that. Anything interesting here? Lareda beats Kondo. David Lee, no thank you. No thank you. Okay. Sean O'Malley has completed his drug suspension. So we can now book Sean O'Malley. High level regional. His, uh, Sheesh. Popularity took a hit because he had another drug suspension. What was it for? What was it for? Where's uh recreational drugs? So it was for weed, essentially. Okay. Rob Font needs to be renewed to fight losing streak, but he is ranked. That's fine. We'll find something for you to do, Rob. Luis Pena. Violent Bob Ross. Get him back in there as well. Jonathan Martinez on a winning streak. Of course, we're going to re-sign him. Get you another two fights, young man. Sean the Crackhead O'Malley. Not Crackhead. Weedhead. Difference. Take Sage off the shortlist. We don't need him there anymore. And that is about it. Cron Gracie injured. Minor groin injury, uh-oh. How good would Cron Gracie versus Ryan Hall be? That would be insane. Something to think about. All right, you guys, the next time that I see you guys will be for UFC 265 Gillespie versus Habib. I'm AZ Plow 21 Thank you guys for watching on YouTube, watching on Twitch. Be sure to leave a like down below, leave a comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on Twitch, follow all the links below if you want to do anything else. I appreciate you guys. Have a good rest of your day.